Hi, my name is Robert Edwards, and I'm producing the film America Dreaming with my friend Greg Salustro in Chicago. And I'm here to talk about the wonderful car designers that worked in Detroit for the automotive companies during the 50s and 60s. What I'm holding in my hand is an Edsel proposal from 1958 by the artist Rodell Smith, who worked under Roy Brown Jr., who was head of the Edsel Design Division. This particular drawing was done the very last month that the Edsel existed. In September of 1958, Ford announced that they would be killing the Edsel division. The Edsel came out for one more year as a 1960 model year, but by that time the Edsel was gone. So this drawing represents one of the final drawings that were saved from the studio. The drawings themselves are extremely rare. The companies would not allow them to be let out of the studio. They were corporate property, and the companies would destroy them after several years. Consequently, we think there are only maybe about 5,000 or so drawings in existence. If you were drawing a design today, it was typically for a model that was two or three years out. Uh, and the artists themselves would come up with the concepts. The studio heads would then take a design and start to work it to uh, the final product with the help of engineers and of course accountants would be involved in it because some of the designs get to be a little bit extravagant and costly. Behind us we have ex examples of uh, a Chrysler Imperial from 1959 by Bill Brownlee who was uh, instrumental in creating the Charger and Challenger and some of the classic muscle cars from the later 60s. Below that is one of Carl Rainier's renderings in the early 50s for a General Motors product. Renner was instrumental in designing much of the Motorama cars from the 50s, as well as Corvette, Nomad, and the early drawings by, of Corvair. There's also a drawing of a 1959 Plymouth uh, uh, Fury uh, that would have been for the 1962 model year. In the background, there is a rocket ship taking off because the designers were vastly influenced by the jet age, by airplane travel, by the rockets, by the space age. It was a time when there was a, a vast amount of exuberance and optimism for the future in America. And the cars reflected that. Uh, they were shiny, big fins, lots of chrome, great colors, uh, and that's the reason why we've fallen in love with those cars and why they're so collectible today.